Queens, and back in the 1940s, neighborhood kids would just steal broomsticks off fire escapes, remove the handles, make a bat, buy a rubber ball for 25 cents. You got your buddies, and you're playing stickball, a street game played throughout the five boroughs of New York City. And the perception is it's gone away. Not the case on one special street in the Bronx. The game is still thriving. Tom Rinaldi reports on a family that represents the city's subculture, the Mercados. One Sunday morning, I came out to see this game that he spoke of with such passion and glee. My only regret is I had not joined him before, for our relationship since has become so much more. He's not only my dad, but my best friend as well, and I like to thank Stickball for this tale I tell. The tale of the Mercado family is a story about generations of fathers and sons, of city and service, but also a story of sticks and balls and streets, one street in particular that connects them all. The street sign, they changed from just Stickball Boulevard to Steve Mercado Stickball Boulevard. They have the mural up there with uh, my dad's poem, which was uh, meant for his dad and how my grandfather brought the game to my dad and how he cherished it. Born and raised in the Bronx, Steve Mercado had several titles. He cherished them all. New York City firefighter, proud father of two sons, and just maybe one of the best damn stickball players in the city. A long ball hitter, hit the ball really far, good defense, good arm, he can run a little bit. Kind of like a five-tool baseball player. I would say he's the GOAT, he's the greatest of all time, which obviously you try to emulate. You're gonna be the first stickball Olympic player. I hope so. Never know. We took a trip to Washington, D.C. It was a, um, it was kind of like a street games festival in the capital, and they had to play on grass. They had to get plywood to, to hit off of, but it was an awesome experience. It was, it was really fun. Skyler McConnell. We apply the junior rule. Just a year after playing that game in the nation's capital came a day that would change the country. We just got a report in that there's been some sort of explosion at the World Trade Center in New York City. This footage shows Steve Mercado's Engine 40 entering the South Tower as they respond after the second plane hit. My mom told me that America was being attacked and I asked if my dad was down there, and she said yes. And I remember being excited because I thought my dad was Superman and that he could, he could do anything, put out any fire. In all, 343 members of the FDNY would die in the attacks, 12 from Engine 40, Ladder 35 in Manhattan, including Steve Mercado. He was 38 years old. His son, Skyler, was six. His brother, Austin, two. I used to draw the Twin Towers a lot, actually, and my dad at the bottom of them, standing and going up to put out the fires and stuff. And that just became like an outlet for me to release some anger I had, some sadness, and it would help out a lot. It still does. Nearly a generation later, the loss remains. But so does the boulevard. And who you'll find here. Two sons bound to the father they lost through the game they play. I tap the number one for him, and then I will I'll bounce the ball five times for my grandfather, his number was five, and then I'll take my bat and I'll look up at, look up at the name on it, because it's my dad's bat, so it says Steve on it, so I'll just take up and look at it, take a deep breath, bounce the ball once for my dad again, and I'll hit. 
even though my dad's not here physically, we still feel him in everything we do. Everywhere we go, there's a feeling that's brought with us. And we, we just have to know it's him looking over us. Steve Mercado's stickball league endures every Sunday morning from late spring through early fall. One, two, three, three. And you'll find the Mercado brothers here swinging away, honoring their father, playing our game. I vowed that my children will have much more than I, for I will teach them to reach for the sky. I pray every day that my boys will be fine and as happy with their dad as I am with mine. Stickball is the game, and each week we play, running, hitting, laughing, enjoying the day. Our families, our friends, we love them the same. Look forward to seeing you Sunday to play our game. Thank you. A very powerful story, stickball, for those that grew up anywhere around the five boroughs, you're playing it. And the idea that that's such a wonderful tribute to the dad is great. You just wish that there was never a tribute that was necessary. Of course. And the great, iconic Willie Mays playing stickball in yeah. the streets in the 50s in New York. And now we have Steve Mercado. Yeah, and people wonder why New York fans are such huge baseball fans. They've been playing stickball for over 200 years in the five boroughs, and that's passed down from generation to generation. Right. Really interesting, sad, and it's